Sports Report. I'm Keith Zamona alongside my co-anchor Bryce Gallagher. Bryce, how's it going? Good, Keith. How about you? Pretty good. We have a special edition for you today, folks. A CIF wrap-up as well as a state finals preview. We'll recap all of the sports scores from around LCC. Let's get into it right now. Bryce, what do we have to start off with? Alright, Keith, so we got a packed show today, but let's start out with girls varsity basketball. The Mavs defeat the Westview Wolverines 58 to 49 in the first round of Taylor Pier off of Taylor Pierce's 18 points on 44% shooting. The Mavs moved on to the semifinals and unfortunately lost the Mission Hill Grizzlies 59 to 52 in the open division semifinals. Mission Hill's his offensive force was just too much for the Mavs to handle. Fortunately though, the Mavs are the 12th seed in the Division II state tournament and will be playing Norco on Wednesday at 7 p.m. on the road. Yeah, it was a close game, 59-52. Unfortunately, the Mavs could not pull out a W. Great season, or great uh, CIF run, rather, for Taylor Pierce and Rachel Dumiak. They'll be playing in the state championships now. Hopefully, they'll win. They're playing Wednesday, so we'll see what happens there. As for boys varsity basketball, the Mavs experienced similar results, losing to the St. Augustine Saints in their semifinal round as well. 63-58 was the score last Tuesday. The game started out roughly for the Mavs as they were down big due to Eric Monroe's clutch shooting from beyond the arc. Monroe going up the court. He's going to take a three. The Mavs came back, though, with a valiant effort from LCC's big man, Brady Twombly. Excuse me. Going to give it to Twombly. Twombly with the three. Oh, three. In the third, Brady Twombly so weak with the three point. We just saw him right there. Mavs with in three even run. The Mavs were actually able to hold a lead at one point, 54 52. He's got Harmon. Harmon driving with the layup. Matt Harmon, he's just another story coming out of this game tonight. He's been quiet all season and he has really played a dividend in the Mavs comeback so far tonight, Keith. Unfortunately though, the Mavs slipped and lost the game 63-58. Point guard Matt Harmon had a three-point opportunity with the clock winding down but missed wide, sending St. Augustine to the finals. And although the Mavs lost their CIF game, they still are in the running for another state championship. Their game is on Wednesday at 7 p.m. at home. They play the Tesoro Titans, and because they have the number one seed, they have home court, uh, home court advantage throughout the state championships. The Mavs have already defeated the Tesoro Titans once this season, 55-51. It should be a great game that we'll have on Friday's edition of Mav Live Sports Report. Definitely, Cleef. And I just have to add that the St. Augustine Saints did end up be beating Torrey Pines in the CIF championship. So, I mean, although we lost, it's good that Torrey Pines did. Torrey Pines did too. Indeed, indeed. But moving on to girls soccer, what do we have from the Lady Mavs? All right, so girls soccer came into the CIF player playoffs as the number four seed in the Open Division Championship. They started their playoff sh winning streak with a 3-2 to two win against Westview. Daniela Goad, Megan Grant, and Genesis Lucero scored for the Mavs. The Mavs pulled off the same result against the number one Cathedral Catholic Dons, 3-2 to two as well. This time, Kelsey Agnes, Ruby Hellstrom, and Daniela Goad scored for LCC in a CIF upset. But it was in the open division CIF finals against Carlsbad in which the Mavs showed that what they were made of, defeating the Lancers 2-1 in extra time after losing the season series. The Mavs' Ruby Hellstrom earned player of the game honors with both, with both of the Mavs' goals and in the Division II state bracket, the Mavs defeated Bravo High School, the number eight seed, by a score of six to one off the legs of Kelsey Agnes, Ruby Hellstrom, Genesis Lucero, Megan Grant, and Brittany Humphreys. The Mavs will play La Miranda on Thursday at 4 p.m. at home in the regional semifinals. As for boys soccer though, the Mavs were knocked out of the CIF division, open division bracket early after losing one to zero against Chula Vista. In the Division II bracket, though, the number two seeded Mavs defeated Sunny Hills 4 to 1 in the quarterfinals and will play Silmar High School on Thursday in the semis immediately after the girls' game. 
In other news though, boys varsity baseball defeated Santana 6-0, softball beat Scripps Ranch 7-1, and boys varsity lacrosse defeated Carlsbad 7-3. Great job to those teams. As always, I'd like to thank you for joining us here on the Map Live Sports Report. For Map Live Sports, I'm Keith.